テンション。Oh, thank the gods I found you boys. And what will you do with us now? Why, grant you safe passage, just as I say. Very generous offer for an imperial. Come now, is it fair to begrudge a man the circumstances of his birth? Well, no. I guess not. So what do we do after he drops us off? Go get the car. Can't leave her unattended for long. Chancellor, if you truly wish to aid us in our efforts, then I request you release us this instant. This instant? It's a long way down. Perhaps the army could break your fall, or perhaps you could simply sit back and enjoy the ride. You needn't worry. You're in good hands with me. Here's hoping you find that car of yours. High Commander Ravis Oxflare issued the following statement regarding the Imperial blockades across the region. We believe the insurgents behind this citadel attack have taken refuge in disguise. The blockades shall help us root out the criminals. I realize the inconvenience imposed upon the citizenry, but we must each do our part for the good of all. The High Commander also stressed the Imperial Army would continue its recovery efforts in the Crown City. The frequent quakes which rocked the Disky and Clean regions in recent days have finally quieted. In response, the Empire provided the following comment. The cause of the tremors was the Archean who had awakened in a fit of rage. The Imperial Army took swift action and laid the unruly giant to rest, thus averting disaster. Eyewitness reports confirm Titan has disappeared from the Disk of Kothis. I still can't believe it. I mean, shouldn't the car have turned up by now? We should wait until Cindy's done asking around the local garages before we dispel. Let's not fool ourselves. The Empire has it. Then maybe we could ask Arden to help us out again, right? The Imperial Chancellor. He represents a problem, not a solution. So where does that leave us? Stranded. Awaiting word from Hammerhead. In the meantime, we'll have to hoof it. Look! It's Umbra! Someone's sending us a message. A messenger, a spirit, faithful to the Oracle. Uh, for real? <laughs> We're going beyond real now, pal. Okay. 
And she won't have to wait much longer. We'll be together soon. The crystal was gifted to mankind, that we might know lasting prosperity. If the crystal belongs to everyone, how come only Lucis gets to use it? The kings of Lucis do not simply use the crystal. They also protect it. Wait, so my dad's guarding it? Yes. I had no idea. To crown the King of Light is the calling of the crystal. And keeping the crystal safe until that day falls to the line of Lucis. And I'm the chosen. Yes, only the true king, anointed by the crystal, can purge our star of its scourge. You really think I can do that? As Oracle, I will see to it. Hmm? To aid the king is the Oracle's calling. Then... I guess I can do it. I won't let you down. I know you won't. Unto the king alone this voice is heard. To follow the words is to follow the chosen path. Bridging heaven and earth it strikes, the storm's ephemeral yet eternal light. To the light must go the king. Lady Lunfreya has done well to keep the ring from falling into enemy hands. All we need to do is hit Altitia. That entails passage aboard a ship. Kaim may serve us now as it did them then. The hidden harbor. <laughs> Just my work. I'll have Iris set it up. So, in the meantime, we head into the storm. Another day, another deity. Easy now. See, Slowpoke! Make tracks. Ignis, we're going. On my way. <laughs> First Titan, now Rama. Chasing down deities is hard work. Think how Lady Luna Freya must feel. If the strain of the rites is as Gentiana suggested, I fear she's far less off than we are. you out anyway. Gentiana? Yeah. Is she like your fairy godmother or something? I think she's more a messenger of the gods. Whoa. We'll meet again. Hmm.
Let's go. Better keep up. <sighs> nice riding with you. Is recovering well? Who? Gentiana, my messenger. The prince has read of our kind? Oh, I tried to, but I only know what Luna told me. Hmm. Lady Luna Freya. Yeah, Luna for Luna. It is heartening to see the future king and the Oracle enjoy such familiarity. The fate of our world may depend on it. I remember back in Tenebrae with Gentiana. The revelation of the Storm Sender awaits the King. Hurry hence to the eye of the storm. Foreign hordes fear the true King's ascension. The fearful seek to seal the path of what must come. What is it? A another headache? I heard her. Gentiana, divine voices in your head again? Hopefully it won't amount to the same headache it did with the Archeon. Gods, messengers are divine entities. Just like the Oracle speaks to the gods for the people, the messengers speak to the people for the gods. So she's Lady Luna Freya's partner in divine. His story about Lady Luna Freya coming through town was true after all. Judging by the timing of her visit, she probably set course for the Archeon as soon as she fled the Ground City. <laughs> you really owe her big time, Noct. Can't wait to thank her in person. Overhead! 
chili. Yeah. Thanks for the ride. Ah, oh, thanks, buddy. But the revelation awaits. Make now for the storm sender and let judgment be passed. Knocked! You okay? Yeah. Another reminder to receive the blessing. That divine power is just waiting for you. over with finally time to meet with the storm sender you'd better look your best Never dreamt I'd see law come to life before my very eyes. Leaving insomnia was eye-opening, but this is mind-blowing.
After Rama, we go see Leviathan. Right. Indeed. I dare say Lady Lunafreya seeks the Hydra yeah. as we speak. Which means another right. And a heavier burden. Hope she can hold up. gonna visit the other royal tombs, right? Of course. We've simply gone off-road for a spell. Nott could definitely use a hand from his ancestors. The dead can wait, but gods aren't always forgiving. Let us not keep the full jury in waiting. Showtime. Let's hope it's not a tragedy. It sure ain't a comedy. <laughs> drive off to? We better find her before we set sail. Can't leave the old girl behind. Indeed. Gathering your powers, but what do you do once you've found them all? The calling is only a set of guiding principles. Well, hopefully it'll guide him into taking down the Empire once and for all. Yeah, like the sound of that. <laughs> Your ancestors have our backs, and the gods are on our side. How cool is that? Very, when you put it that way. Empire will get what's coming to him. Certainly doesn't seem as unlikely. What? That one was pretty close. Which means we must be as well. That's the spot lightning struck. And we're supposed to go inside? Here we are, Fosha Hollow. No telling what waits inside. Stay sharp. Always. Uh, we're drifting into the deep end. I can't quite make out how deep it runs. Only one way to find out, right? Ah! I've got a bad feeling about this place. As if danger lurks round every corner. Avoid all corners. Got it. I should be able to slip through. Let's see. Maybe for you. Pretty easy for me, though. <laughs> On second thought, maybe not.
Onward. Yep. Huh. through. Don't lose your head. That's it! What's up, Iggy? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> I can taste this for you.
Right. We're on the right track. <gasps> She's here. I just know it. Show yourself already! Cool it. Yourself.
this. What was she talking about? Beats me. Oh, something about her baby? Yeah, if it's anything like her, I ain't going near it. Oh. That's the last runestone. Oh, finally. All right, you're up, Noct. This is it. The power of the storm. Eh, I expected more fire and brimstone. Some gods are friendlier than others, I guess. But not all of them. Poor Luna. Perhaps you'd better console her in person. Just a boat right away. Lose that scowl along the way. Well deal. Oh. It stopped raining! Guess Rama finally got sick of showers. Up there! It's huge! Uh, way bigger than the last one we saw! Yeah? Hey, Highness. About your car. Yeah? Well, I found her, but she's at a base. Oh. Now, I can handle garage folk, no problem. But sweet talk in the Empire? That'll take some doing. Don't worry about it. Yeah? We'll figure it out. You sure about that? Yeah. Thanks for the heads up. Later. Who was that? Cindy. What? You can't talk to her like that. Yeah, I can. I just did. And does she have any choice words for you? Yeah. The Regalia's at an Imperial base. Oh, boy. Guess that just leaves one question. When do we retrieve her? I'd say now. This is nothing more than conjecture, but I suspect that ship was due to arrive far earlier. The thunder and lightning must have slowed it down. There's a chance they intend to transport the Regalia back to Nikolai. You gotta thank the Thunder God for buying us some time. Yeah, let's run in and right off. That's what I call teamwork. Come up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. Oh. <laughs> 
The color's amazing. All this time, he was the Chancellor. I'd have suspicions, but that was well beyond them. He's awfully friendly for an enemy leader. King's calling exactly. Well, become best buds with the gods, maybe? Legend has it the king once stood alongside the six in the battle to banish the darkness. Darkness seems awfully vague. Better things to do. Oh, for a lost cause. I don't feel bad for turning down my courtesy car. The courtesy car is no regard. Yeah. Hmm. It would have felt like cheating. Besides, Cindy's a big girl. So, you think she'll call again soon? Soon, huh? Not soon enough for you, yeah. little boy. Perhaps she's unable to out. Knocked! Overhead! <sighs>
beautiful day. Indeed. Is the only one making deliveries. Wonder what Prime is up to. Haven't seen her. Probably because she's traveling around with her owner. You know, I really miss that dog. Thanks. <laughs> you don't appreciate what you have till it's gone. In that car, we were unstoppable. She was our home away from home. Yeah. <clears throat> Some kind of fortress. Yeah, a port of fortress. Those walls don't look so portable, though. They are remnants of the old wall, and the Imperial Army has availed itself of the added protection. Entry will not be easy. Under the stars tonight.
Hey, this one's pretty good. I know. I dig it too. So, any bright ideas, Ignis? A dark one, as it were. A frontal assault would leave us exposed. But if we move under cover of night, we might be able to infiltrate the base unnoticed. And until then? We learn all we can about the base's design and attempt to narrow down the Regalia's location. I'll analyze what intelligence we have available to find us a way in. Sounds good, Specs. All right! We're gonna get our wheels back! Our goal is the Regalia. The last thing we want is to engage an entire garrison. Avoid detection at all costs. In and out before it gets light, then. Indeed. Even if it means leaving the task unfinished, we withdraw before we overstay our welcome. Together on my signal. Until then, hold position. Three, two, one. Now. Not bad. Might still be hope for you. Stop. What? Searchlights. We're clear. Tread warily. All right. Blind spot. One hit, one kill. You're in fine form. Keep it up. What's powering the base? A Magitech generator of some description. It would explain why the troopers in the vicinity are uncommonly strong. I say we wreck it. Spare us the sneaking around. The risk is too great. Finding the regalia comes first. 
Not a sound. You'll alert the anime. Got it. There's the old girl. She's a real sight for sore eyes. And none the worse for her time in Imperial hands. What have we here? Change of plans. Our new objective is to clear path for the regalia.
dude. That was hardcore! But it did the trick. The place is dead. Rest in pieces. Come on, let's grab the regalia and split. Piece of cake, huh? <laughs> this part is. Inadvertent though it was, we dealt the Empire a crushing blow today. The Marshal will be pleased to hear of this. Pretty sweet busting up that base. <gasps> bust a base. I like the sound of that for this sort of thing. Ah, there's a base. We go in and bust it up. Bust a base. Whatever. I'm calling it that. You don't have to. I won't. Seems a bit flippant. Why not go for something a little more epic? Because I thought of it first. So that's the name. Bust a base. Get used to it. Easier said than done. Ah, oh, guys? Long has it been, Noctis. Bravis. You received the storm's blessing, and yet you know nothing of the consequences. Watch it. Be still, all of you. Not good. Heir to a crown befitting no other. Witness his splendor and glory. All hail the Chosen King. Awful high and mighty for an Imperial rat, serving the enemy to hunt down Luna. I do not serve, I command! The King's sworn shield. You better believe it. A weak shield protects naught. Go? Let's do it. Should have chosen for that too is fate. I'd say that's far enough. A hand, Highness. Not from you. Oh, but I'm here to help. And how is that? By taking the army away. You expect us to believe that? When next we meet, it'll be across the seas. Just so happens we have business of our own with the tutelary deity, don't we? Fare thee well, your majesty. And safe travels. You guys know that guy? Ravus Nox Flore, first son of Tenebrae, and elder brother to Lady Luna Freyo. At long last, the Imperial blockades of Discayan roadways have been removed. The Imperial Army has also demolished all related facilities directed around the region. The provisional government of Insomnia anticipates increased traffic congestion along most local highways and encourages all citizens to refrain from any unnecessary travel for the time being. So help me figure this out. That was Luna's brother? The High Commander himself. Wartime makes for quick promotions. Even a son of Tenebrae can rise to the top. But why would he want to lead their army? Who cares? Certainly formidable enough on his own. Uh, if Ravis wants power, I'll give him a taste.
just need to pull in somewhere cool. <laughs> yeah. Any chance of sleeping in a nice room tonight? Yes, I'm certain we can secure suitable accommodations nearby. wrong I let you down I never made it to Kayem the Empire came while you were gone none of us said a word about knocked they just showed up and then <sighs> poor Jared What do you mean? What happened to Jared? There was nothing we could do! get away with it they'll pay for what they've done I promise I believe in you Prince Noctis <laughs> I'm taking Talcott and we're going to Kayim we we can't just stay here and do nothing. <laughs> I understand. Thank you. 